Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a, um, a brand that I came across. It's called Undone Beauty. Their packaging is like this. It's like a nice frosted container. A container, wow. Compact. <laughs> um, really quick, I apologize if there's any background noise. It's summertime and my kids are off from school. So if it gets a little bit loud, that's why. So I came across this brand um, on, I think, either Facebook or Instagram. And I just kept seeing like their ads on my feed. And I was curious about it because they were saying it was like a clean beauty, but more affordable. So it caught my attention because it's like a lot of products that are like multi-use products and easy to use, sheer kind of um, foundation, glowing. That's kind of like what typically calls my attention. So I ordered, I ordered a couple of things and I got 20% off because if you sign up, I think with your email address, you subscribe or whatever, they send you a 20% off coupon. So I tried, oh, I ordered the foundation. Uh, it's called Unfoundation Glow Tint. It's like this. It's like a clear bottle. Um, it says undone on the top. Very, like, you, you, you really, you could see it better in person. I got their concealer palette it comes like this uh, two blushes they're cream blushes and from my understanding it's sorry, sorry. from my understanding same thing with the concealer it's like sheer medium opaque coverage so I like that concept so you can kind of manipulate the coverage on what you feel like using I got their warm-up bronzer this thing is huge and it's apparently very pigmented and then they have something called a water bronzer which is a stick bronzer it comes in one of these things it looks really dark <laughs> so I'm very curious to see how that applies on as well this was actually the first thing that kept coming up on my feed and I was like oh that's really interesting um, all right so According to the website, the foundation is, um, I believe it's in six shades and it's color adjusting. So I don't know. I mean, from looking at this, I don't know if it's going to be my match exactly. So I guess we're just going to have to find out together. Everything is nicely priced. I ended up spending $49.65 for six items. Their foundation is... $14, concealer's $10, the big bronzer's $10, uh, the lip cheeks, lip to cheek color, the blushes are $7 each. So it's not bad. It's not badly priced. I would say it's like drugstore brand, uh, drugstore pricing. Sorry. All right. So let's try this out. Oh my God. It's already coming out. So this shade is supposed to be good for like medium skin tones it's very watery uh let's see it says you can apply with your finger or you can apply with like a brush whatever you're more comfortable with so i'm just gonna try out my finger first it does not claim to have like full coverage or anything which i'm all right with you guys saw my um uh, glossier video like that kind of foundation um is more of my style well, when I swatch it on, I'm going to put it on, it looks a little bit light at first, but then once you blend it out, it kind of, it disappears into the skin. Definitely has like, it's not oily, but it has more of an oil um, feeling to it versus like being watery. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but if you've ever used the serum foundation from Bare Minerals, it kind of feels like that. Like, it's got a nice, like, slip to it. I, I was afraid that the color was going to be off. I mean, I guess, like, at this point, even if I were to have gotten the darker color, it would still work because it's so sheer. You see what I mean? Like, when you put it on, it kind of looks, like, light. But then it kind of disappears into the skin nice. 
right next I'm gonna go in with the concealer because I was curious about this um so this one is sheer coverage medium and opaque and it's funny because like as I'm looking at it like I feel like it's gonna be a little bit dark for me but I guess we're just gonna have to find out so for under the eyes I'm gonna go in with let's do the medium shade oh well, when you swatch it it looks lighter so I like that a lot. Check that out. I don't have like severe dark circles or anything, but I get like um, that shadow under my eyes. And this is doing a really, really nice job of like brightening it up. And it's very lightweight. You don't feel it like heavy or anything. Let's try with the more full coverage side. Because I can still see just a little bit peeking through, so. Whoa. I was not expecting that kind of coverage. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, wow. That's unbelievable. That's amazing. Can you guys see, like, the difference? And I swear, like, it's so lightweight. I don't feel it heavy or anything. And it's just, like... A swipe and all right <laughs> just for fun I just want to see what the sheer side looks like so I'm gonna do that on this side so on this side I have the medium and the full coverage the full coverage definitely takes everything out yeah, it's definitely a sheer coverage like it says it is because once I put that on you could still kind of see through so I actually like the combination of the medium coverage and the full coverage. I mean, the full coverage, hands down, will just cover everything completely. Like, one swipe and you're done, which is nice. I'm seriously, like, impressed with this particular product and the foundation. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was on the fence. I'm like, eh, I don't know, well, I'll try it. And I like it. I'm glad I, I got it. Okay. Next, let's do bronzer. I'm super, super curious about this thing. So I think maybe I'll do this on one side and this on the other side. I believe this was like a contour shade. This is the bronzer and then you have two highlighters. So I'll swatch those in a second. Let's do this one first. This is crazy. Look how dark it is. And this is in the shade baked so I'm just gonna swatch it oh that's interesting it's very sheer but if you see the more you swatch it the color does develop and it's very it's got like a cooling effect which is interesting all right so let's Oh, it feels really nice. It's like a nice cooling effect. I definitely see some color developing, which is nice. I don't want to go too heavy because this is my first time using it. I don't know like how the color payoff is. But it's buildable, which is nice. Alright, so for this one... So this is a powder, and from what I've seen and what I've read, it's extremely pigmented. So I'm going to go with a light hand. I'm going to use um, the Wet n Wild P53 brush. And I'm just going to tap it into these two colors. And see what happens. I feel like... Hmm. Honestly, I feel like it's turning orange on me. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't like when um, bronzers turn orangey. I guess I shouldn't have known that because this one's kind of like it's very warm. Let me swatch it for you. Yeah, that's straight up 
orange. That's a color that's kind of um, that I'm seeing more on my cheek. So this is that color all the way at the top with this one. Then this orange one is the one here. And then I'll swatch the highlight. I like frosty. I mean, I guess like like a blush color, it would be nice. But as a bronzer for my skin tone, I don't I don't like it. Okay, moving to the lip to cheek. So I have two colors. I have the berry, and I have the it's called brazen, blazon, which is this nice like corally orange. I'm gonna go in with the very one. So again, the top is sheer, medium, opaque. So let's try the sheer first and we, we can build. Feels nice and blends right into the skin, it like melts into the skin, which is really great. With a medium. The medium and the full uh, opaque shade was recommended like for the lips. Can try it on the lips next. It's pretty. It's like too. It doesn't feel like um it doesn't feel like you have lipstick on. I hate lipstick. <laughs> I know I film um a lot of beauty videos and I'm a makeup artist too, but I hate lipstick. I, if you ever see me in person, I never have anything on my lips. If anything, I have like a lip balm. Um, cause I don't like the way it feels. Like I hate when I can feel lipstick on, but this doesn't feel like anything. And it's a pretty color too. So let's try the, um, blazon, the more coral on this side. Now that the bronzer's like been sitting on my skin, I think I'm Kind of getting used to it. Again, I wish it was not as orangey, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's go in with the top color. These are nice because with the sheer, it gives off like like the sheer one, the top one. It gives off this nice glow. That I really like. Go with the medium color just for a little more. So both of these colors are really pretty. There was uh, there's three colors. There's the uh, blazon, the berry, and then there's like one. I think it's called like posy or something. It's like a pinkier um, color. I went with the berry and the more orange. I skipped the pink one because I already have a couple of blushes that are like that already and those really tend not to work out with my skin tone. Um, so yeah, so what do I think about this in overall? I like the foundation a lot. I was pleasantly surprised that the color does adjust to, um, it just to my skin tone. The concealer really surprised me because the bottom one really is full coverage and even though I thought it was going to be darker because of the way it looks in the pan once you swipe it you could see that it's lighter so that worked out and my shade is latte medium same thing with the foundation it's latte medium apparently the foundation and the concealer coincide with each other obviously if you want to you know mix and match you can I went with these two I know the next shade up is, I think it's like from medium to olive undertones. I'm really not that olive, that's why I didn't go for that one. But I think if I get darker, probably I can get that one instead. This, the Warm Up Bronzer, um, it's not bad. I think mixed together, it has a pretty, pretty color. Um, for bronzer for my skin tone, I just, I'm not crazy about it. Um... So this is the one that, I guess the one thing that I would say, you know, unless you know like orangey bronzers work for your skin tone, go for it. But if they don't, it's not like a necessary purchase. 
the blushes are really great. I like them a lot. I like how you can adjust the coverage and like how it can be sheer and like dewy looking. And this bronzer is nice and sheer and very cooling, which is cool. So this is like a true, true bronzer. It kind of reminds me of um, like those gel bronzers that like you put on your skin and it kind of just, it gives you that nice like bronzy look. So I like that. Um, yeah, if you've tried this brand out, let me know. Comment down below. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are about it. And yeah, I'll have all the items listed below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.